One newborn is a handful. Having nine at once, well, that must be harrowing. Our team just got back from Morocco to meet the mother who was expecting seven kids, but discovered two more surprises while delivering. Our Lindsay Davis brings us this remarkable story. Halima Sise and her husband Abdel Kadir Arbi are on their way to the neonatal intensive care unit in Casablanca. A far journey from their homeland in Timbuktu, but one these parents were relieved to make. It's been nearly two months since this 26 year old mother from Mali had not one, not two, but nine babies. We're hearing from them for the very first time. Hello. So we always wanted a baby, but if someone told me one day, Mr. Arby, I would have nine babies, I would say it's false. For months, scans were only showing seven fetuses. It wasn't until she gave birth that doctors realized there were two more. There were a lot of things going through my mind, being afraid for myself, for my kids, how it was going to unfold. All of that was going through my mind. They're called non-uplets, and they're extremely rare. In fact, there have only been two other recorded cases, but none have survived past a few days. The last time we saw anything close to this many multiple births was 12 years ago from Nadia Suleiman. I wish I could split myself into 14 parts and I can't do that. Nicknamed Octomom, she is the current Guinness World Record holder for most children delivered at a single birth to survive. But she had eight babies, and like most multiple births, they were conceived through in vitro fertilization. Halima's pregnancy is all the more rare because it occurred naturally, requiring a team of 10 doctors and 25 paramedics for her C-section. That means it's a first. This is the first time we're attending a birth like this. The most important delivery we've seen was four babies that I've seen in my career. But the births of these babies, nine babies, it's very rare. She's the first one to give birth to nine babies who are alive and healthy. Such pregnancies are extremely dangerous for the mother, but this clinic was determined to keep both mom and babies alive. So we fight for every baby. We don't give in. We don't present nine babies to the mom. We present one baby at a time. This baby must grow. It must survive. That's that reasoning. So we're not reasoning between these nine, choosing who will survive development. Everyone has to survive. Born after 30 weeks, their weight ranged between one and just a little over two pounds. They've spent the first few months of their little lives sequestered in this ICU. The Malian government flew them out during pregnancy. Each day, Halima and Abdel Kadir must suit up in PPE just to hold their five girls and four little boys. Nine names is certainly a lot to keep track of, but their parents tell us they wanted their names to be as significant as their birth. This is Mohammed, the fourth girl, the first girl. The first boy bears the name in tribute to his King Mohammed VI, and he is the King of Morocco. And the second boy is Bangdung's name. He is the former president of Mali. The clinic staff tells us they use about 75 diapers and about 100 bottles of milk a day. It's a lot of work and a lot of work, but out of love, all love, I promise you, for the whole team, it's not just me, for love, doctors and everything, making visits every morning, baby by baby, we're all doing it. Individualized care, that is very, very good. Soon, these non-uplets will be able to take the voyage back to Mali, where their big sister awaits. <laughs> Abdel Kadir is a soldier in the Malian army, and Halima is a student. Now they have 10 children. The added pressure weighs heavily on their minds. It must also be said, the weight, the responsibility is enormous. It's huge. To raise one baby is not easy and then nine more. Nine, and we also measure care that is necessary. And the follow-up that is there, which appeals and education and everything that goes with it. 
Despite the obvious challenges, they are filled with an immense amount of gratitude and hope for the future. They consider these babies to be a blessing from God. And what I want to tell you, I'll add that it's divine gratification. It must be said. The output surprised us. It's surprising. Even after the surprise, we have joy that is, that has always been there. Responsibilities are confident and optimistic. Everything's going to be fine. And what a beautiful family. Thanks to our Lindsay Davis for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.